In today's video, we're searching for the new Walmart Rarity Collection Special Edition. What is this? I don't know what these things are. We're gonna find them. What's up guys, we're back at Walmart and I'm gonna be looking for the new Rarity Collection like Walmart bundles. I don't even know what to call them. They have five packs inside. So they're not like a regular booster box, but they kind of look like a booster box. So they're sort of like a special edition. I don't know, I'm hoping that there are some in here. Let's go see. On our way to Rarity Collection Walmart edition. Disney. Maze. That looks insane of all these guys in there. A lot of stuff, but what we're looking for. Oh, here it is. That's where it was. They're gone. All right, Walmart number one did not work out, but we're going into Walmart number two, hoping for better luck. Had to drive a little bit for this one, so hopefully there's something we can open. The worst item ever. No luck at Walmart number two, so I got one more chance, but it's not looking great, so you may never even see these videos if we don't find anything, but let's go give it one more shot. There they are. Yeah, four of those, and then four of the ones to the left of it. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart, which we had to go to three Walmarts to get these. I mean, obviously, it's a popular set, so we had to do our due diligence, go out there, go to all the different Walmarts, and the third Walmart came in clutch. So the first thing we're gonna do in this video is uh, check out these boxes and just see how they differ from a regular booster box. So it's five cards per pack, that's normal. But the major difference is it's five packs per box versus 24 in a booster box. So if you look at these things, they're very similar to like a ghost from the past little thing that would go into display but they didn't have displays out. I'm guessing they do come in displays, you know, like five of them lined up like this, and then you have the big pull thing. I'm guessing that's what they come from, but I didn't see any way to buy those individually. I mean, you just buy these, so maybe not, who knows? So 25th anniversary, I also grabbed the blister pack, which I thought was pretty cool. Quarter century, these look really cool, I'm not gonna lie. They look pretty nice. 79 of the cards, most popular cards, each available in seven different rarities. Did you guys know that? It's not like we've opened the entire set already or anything, nothing like that. So if you guys want to win some of this, I'm going to give away one of these and one of the blisters. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about these? Uh, the quantity, you know, five in a pack, uh, the price of them. Let's just get into it. So these cost me $24.99, I believe. And then these blisters were $4.98. So blisters are normally like four, what are they, four forty nine, dollars something like that normally. So 50 cents more for the blisters, essentially. These, I think, are actually pretty standard with the normal, like, special edition things. Only $5 per pack. So you didn't really save any money buying these versus the blister. You could have bought five of these. It would have been basically the same thing as this. I don't think you get anything extra in here except packs, but I guess we'll find out when we open it up. But compared to, like, buying a booster box, this was pretty expensive. It was $131 for the four of these and the four blisters. I wanted it to be 24 packs, just like a booster box. We did give away, obviously, six of the packs, so those won't be open. But we're gonna try to make our money back on the other 18 packs. So it's gonna be $90 total, which is like more than a booster box. If you were to buy a booster box using my code Vistaciato down below, you could do that right now if you wanna support the channel, then you would actually spend less than that to get 24 packs. So obviously buying retail is not the best way to go, but honestly, these don't feel that overpriced compared to like some of the blisters we open a lot of the time that are complete garbage and they're 440. Okay, that's enough chatting. Let's get straight to it. Let's start off with one of these. We are trying to pull, what are we trying to pull? Mac, I mean, Ash Blossom again. We've pulled everything already but i do like this set a lot wow look at that plastic they this is like really tough plastic normally it's like they're really easy to open stuff this is like tough this is crazy okay i don't know if this is normal or what they're like you aren't getting that rarity collection if you guys saw in the video uh, i actually had to like ask i had to wait in line at walmart for like 30 minutes find two people with their groceries because they put it in the same places like the cigarettes and all that stuff so you got to wait behind everybody that's waiting for that there was like five registers open all of them had nobody i'm waiting in the line with you know the cigarettes and stuff like that but i have to I'm like i need my trading cards okay <laughs> I, have an, I have a similar addiction but it's trading cards okay so uh that's Took forever which was kind of a bummer but uh i don't think that's how i was supposed to open that wait wait is it, how are you supposed to open this this maybe okay this kind of rips like that but wait how do you open these <laughs> just gonna pull that out that can't be the right way oh wait it's like it's supposed to be a display but there's no like display flap i'm confused don't really understand that, but we are back to Rarity Collection. I have now opened uh, thousands of packs from this set, uh, but guess what? It's that fun. It's that fun. I had to go check out these new Walmart blisters. Yeah, great. Awesome. Pin card. Okay, good start. Dark Ruler, no more. Let's see what we can get. We have Elder Entity Entis. You can obviously get in this slot. You guys know this. Secret, Platinum Secret, Quarter Century. Here you can get Ultimate Rare. This is for Jarvis right here. This is an Ultimate Rare. It has the Ultra name, so it's the gold. They're actually really hard to tell through like pictures and stuff. 
and videos. So what Jarvis was telling me, he's like, dude, I can't, I can't figure these things out. And I was like, all right, I guess that means a lot of people can't then if you can't either. So maybe if I, you know, show it a little bit more, you guys will be able to understand it. So we have uh, called by the grave. I mean, it, it, once you kind of shine them in the light, it becomes more obvious, but looking at them straight on you, like look like this, that kind of looks like an ultra. Then once you get like this, you're like, oh, that's not an ultra. Something's going on here. So if you are opening it in like sort of a darker area, it'll be more likely that you miss something like that. Okay, next pack. Ultimate rare right off the bat. You'd love to see it. We have Striker Dragon. We have a Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode. Rota, Reinforcement of the Army, just an ultra. See if you shine that around. No shininess around the border or anything. We have an Eldritch the Golden Lord and a pre-prep of right. So a lot of amazing cards in here. But really the only thing like worth anything, it's gotta be over an ultra unless it's like a really good staple, like we're talking Baron or Triple Tactics Talents or something like that. Okay, but speaking of Baron, super rare. These were over a dollar when I sold them. I don't know if they've gone down below that yet. Striker Dragon Secret, Striker Dra Dragon Ultra, okay. Meg Knight Crusadia Avermax and an Ice Barrier. So that was an okay pack with the Baron, but really everything has a good card. It's really about if you get the rarity or not in this. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow, Ding Gear Suit's not bad. Red Eyes Flare Metal, another ultimate right there. You can see Pris they call them Prismatic Ultimate Rares on TCG Player and then it's Prismatic Collector Rares. So they have a different name and that's kind of a good thing because there's so many, there's two versions of the original ultimate. They changed when, when obviously Upper Deck left. Now we have the Prismatic Ultimate. You can actually differentiate with the name, which is nice. There's a Platinum Secret Rare, Red Eyes Flare Metal. I always look right at the name and I can see like there's like a darker part and the lighter part and that really gives it away to me. Elder Entity Entis. There's obviously the border part as well, but you have to look down. And you know, that's a lot of work, guys. So that one did not have a quarter century in there. That's kind of sad. We do have a blister though. Let's open one blister here and see what we can get. They are now the Pokemon type blisters. Very interesting. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. Rarity Collection. I should have taken a picture of one of these blisters. I forgot. Whoops. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll do a little thing in a minute. We have Shifter. We have Fossil Dig. Nice Dino card. Black Wings to Moon. We have Lava Golem and a Cherubini. Okay, that was that was pretty bad. <laughs> All right, next Rarity Collection. So far, I mean, honestly, pretty underwhelming. We haven't pulled too much so far. We have a couple Ultimates, which they're pretty common. You get like four of them per like normal booster box. Okay, this is the one I open. I'm telling you, this something going on with this plastic. This is like some serious heavy duty plastic. Okay, I really don't understand the best way to open these. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start ripping stuff. Yeah, cause like, it seems like you should be opening it this way to like that, but there's no way to open it. Did they mispackage these? Like, it's a display, like you would open it up like that. But the back, there's there's no way to do it. There's no way to like flip it open. I don't know. Is there an error with this packaging? Like, I'm, I'm really confused. Or are you really just supposed to just slide it out like this? But normally if you slide it out, they wouldn't have that. I don't, I don't get it. I'm confused. I'm really confused by this Rarity Collection stuff. All right, speaking of Rarity Collection and being confused, let's just be confused about how we pulled Ash Blossom out of this Walmart pack. Let's go, we have Intis. Spectre Border, we are not making our money back right now. That's all I got to say. Nightmare Unicorn, as an ultra, you got to be careful. Junk Speeder and Ice Dragon's Prison. We are definitely not making our money back. We are getting crushed right now. Because I'm pretty sure Flare Metal is like under a dollar, even in the high rarity ones, except QCR. So yeah, we haven't hit like anything. Ash Blossom, that'll help. Still only going to be like two bucks in super, but still not bad. Okay, Evenly Platinum, that's not bad. Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Code Talker Inverted. Okay, we're getting better. Oh man, this set's so much fun. It's so much fun. Rarity Collection is it's a it's a homer like i liked it like 95 percent at the beginning i'm liking it more and more and more every time nadir servant good stuff nadir servant that might be something in secret samoon and a lone fire so okay still not great we are getting kind of crushed right now really the only card that can make our money back fully in one go is the ash blossom everything else is kind of like you know it'd be a lot but you know the most i think is like 50 after that called by Okay, Dimension Shifter. Oh, wow, we are getting crushed on these. No quarter century yet. What is going on? They're three per box, they're not that rare. We have Mud Dragon, Ice Barrier, Pot of Prosperity. Oh, that's nice. Ulti, that'll be like 10 bucks. So what I noticed when I was selling my cards uh, is that the secrets and the ultimate rares and the prismatic secret rares or platinum secret rares and all that stuff kind of hung around the same price for Pot of Prosperity. Ooh, and a collector rare. Compulse. Okay, that's a good pack. Compulse. We had a, both a Compulse and a Pot of Prosperity. You know, just to reaffirm that we have collector rare here. I mean, there's a pretty big difference there. The silver name. You got the triangles on the edge. You got a little speckles all over the card. This one's got the ultra rare. It's a little, it's a little shinier on the edge, but different in a different way. So that's our first really good pack of the day. Okay, I, I believe in you, Blister. You can have our first quarter century. I can't believe we haven't pulled one yet. This is kind of unbelievable. Come on, Rarity. Please, please. Egyptian Godslime. 
D barrier. And that's not it. Downer magician. Inspector border. Wow, we are okay. Harvey's feather storm. That was a tough one for us to get the ulti. All right, we're gonna end it with one blister and one of these 18 packs. Not going so well for making our money back. We have made some money back thanks to the pot of prosperity, the ash blossom super. Uh, but yeah, not great. Pot of prosperity supers we haven't seen either. I feel like this is gonna be a fun set to open just periodically throughout like next year because I do have a decent amount left because I bought so much to make sure we can get the set. It's gonna be fun to just pull out rarity collection. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out how to open this thing. Last opportunity. So. We want to just pop it open like that and rip it like that. I feel like maybe you're just supposed to go like this, which is just, wait, kind of difficult to do, but eh, that went pretty well, actually. But it's kind of weird. Like, normally they have displays and stuff for this stuff, and it was definitely not the case here. We're down to six total packs left. No QCRs. That's a bummer because those are most of the value in the set. QCR really for every version was at least like a dollar for most of them. We have tour guide. Oh, thank goodness we got one. All right, the Dogmatic Ecclesia of the Virtuous. Okay, not a huge card because it has so many high rarity cards. It's a, it's a cool card, though. Probably going to keep this for my deck. I didn't end up keeping extra copies for my deck, and I'm probably just going to hunt for them now. Okay, Tour Guide from the Underworld. Code Talker, we at least... Oh, there we go. That's a good pack. Quarter Century and Pot of Prosperity. All right, we're making our way toward our 90 bucks. We're probably at, what, like 30, 40 now? I mean, that's a lot better. Obviously, we're running low on packs, but that's a good start. Uh, I'm guessing it's random here. We could maybe get another Quarter Century. That's kind of the fun part about this. It's already pretty amazing with the Quarter Century box or the uh, Rarity Collection boxes because you get so many nice high rarities. But in theory, you get like five Quarter Centuries in a row, right? Baron's pretty nice. Samuni. Eh? Okay, Cyber Angel Benton. We got Reasoning for Goat Format. Okay, not great there. Not great there. That's okay. We have number 100. Tour Guide from the Underworld. Secret. Iris Sword Soul. Ice Barrier. And Predator Planet. Okay, we're turning it right around. We're becoming crappy again. Three total packs left. I'm getting a little worried that we're not... Well, I mean, we're probably not going to make our money back. But I'm getting worried that we're not going to get another QCR. Because we're supposed to get, like, two out of this number. But we've only got one. Number 100, and it looks like it's going to stick that way. I'm going to keep looking. Don't want to miss an Ultra. Eldritch, the Golden Lord. Both arts. Very cool. Okay, two packs left. One pack from the special edition thing. I don't know what to call it. And then one blister pack. Fallen of Albaz. Oh, yes! Another quarter century. That was a great mini box. Two quarter centuries. Ancient Fairy's not really a huge one, even though I do think it's one of my favorites. But I'll take it. Borload Savage and Magnite. Okay, that turned out to be pretty good. No ultis or collector rares, but we got two QCRs, so that's pretty good. Let's end it off in a really nice way with the Rarity Collection Blister. I'm liking that. I'm liking this. We turned it around. It was really bad for a while. If we can make half our money back, that's not, like, horrible. It's not horrible at all. Okay. Pot of extra. Let's see if we can get three QCRs. That'd be crazy. Oh, and it's an Imperm. That's a good one. That, that, that's going to be one of the higher value ones. Okay, we might actually get somewhat close to making our money back after that. Lightning Storm, not bad. Could be worth a dollar, maybe. Oh, what a Summon Limit Collector Rare. What a last pack. Dogmatic of Punishment's good as well. That definitely took an amazing turn for us. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think down below about these Walmart versions. Have you picked up any yourself? And how was your luck? Because we just saw you got have pretty good luck or you can have terrible luck, depending on the box you get. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.